from the two darkest characters battling it out in the WWE today to Enzo being suspended high above the ring to Brock Lesnar possibly walking out of the WWE at SummerSlam if he loses the Universal Championship. WWE is proclaiming that SummerSlam is the biggest, baddest, best event of the summer. Welcome everybody to your WWE SummerSlam 2017 preview and predictions. This is Webby and pretty decent card has been an okay build. You know, when I look at this card up and down, some of the things could be changed. Some of the things I'm sure all of us are in agreement that we just don't want to see the same matches over and over and over again. Absolutely. First things first, the United States Championship on the line, AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens with a special guest referee, Shane O'Mac. These guys put on good matches, not saying that they don't. But how many times do we have to see the phenomenal AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens one-on-one? -on -one? And we know that Shane McMahon is thrown in there, Vince McMahon wanted him in there, because it's the biggest party of the summer. That's why. And they had to add something else. To the matchup because we've seen a one-on-one -on -one match between these two numerous times. So had to make something different. But United States Champion AJ Styles, I really hope goes over in this matchup. Kevin Owens really doesn't do anything for me as a United States Champion. So, AJ Styles retain the title and then have some, you know, United States Championship Open Challenges or something along those lines. SmackDown Tag Team Championship is on the line. The New Day versus the Usos. Good build. Very good build. These guys gel very well with each other. How they make fun of each other. The whole rap singing thing they had. Every time they're in the squared circle, they put on classic matches for us. They just absolute very good work in the squared circle. Can't wait to see what happens in this encounter but the new day will go over in this match can't see the usos recapturing the tag team championship at SummerSlam. randy orton versus rusev at SummerSlam. rusev comes back to be fed to John Cena, and now Randy Orton. This build has absolutely sucked. It has had no build whatsoever. What can you say? Randy Orton's going to go over here. His reward to help Jinder Mahal is to beat Rusev. That's it. Finn Balor versus the Either of Worlds, Bray Wyatt. Going to be a very interesting contest. 
What's absolutely very interesting contest has been a good feud. Finally, Bray Wyatt has somebody that's playing mind games with him. Bray Wyatt has somebody that, you know, it kind of looks like is in his head, somewhat, you know. Bray Wyatt is not the person giving the mind tricks the entire time. So, on Monday Night Raw, all the way up to SummerSlam. So, should be a very good contest. I see Finn Balor going over here. Bray Wyatt did get some wins over Seth Rollins. To be fed to Finn Balor at SummerSlam. I just see it. Cruiserweight Championship on the line. Neville versus Akira Tozawa. Titus Worldwide. Does anybody really care about this contest? No. And WWE is going to make sure you don't care about this contest because they will more than likely stick it on the pre-show. Neville, I see, going over here at SummerSlam. He's doing awesome work. Akira Tozawa, they're building up, making him look, you know, very good. I mean, sympathy-wise. But will that get him over for the Cruiserweight Championship? Probably not. Tag Team Championship on the line. Most assured will be named. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose versus Cesaro and Sheamus. Can definitely see this being named this week on Raw. They've been teasing this whole Shield reunion. They've been teasing the trust reunion for Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. It's going to happen. And Sheamus and Cesaro has been looking very, very dominant all over the competition. They have had an awesome rivalry with Seth Rollins. Now it's going to come down to can Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins gel together at SummerSlam against these two and capture the Tag Team Championship? Honestly, I see Dean Ambrose turning heel here on Seth Rollins and renewing their rivalry, just flip-flopping Seth Rollins being the baby face in this rivalry. Should be pretty interesting for us to see after SummerSlam. But Sheamus and Cesaro retaining the Tag Team Championship. Dean Ambrose needs something else, something different to do. A new concept, something different. He's stale as a baby face. John Cena versus Baron Corbin. This is what they brought John Cena back for. Now I realize it's to help boost Baron Corbin up. Congratulations. Now, the problem I have with this is they basically showed this most people didn't even get to see the after build to this. Yeah, you know, this 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 sucked. Most people didn't. Not until the following week. So when it actually happened, it's like, okay, people on TV don't get to see it live. 
So John Cena and Barry Corbin are going to meet at SummerSlam. And Barry Corbin's going to lose. This this build has absolutely nothing for me, and I'm sure it does nothing for anybody else. Absolutely nothing. But, you know, Baron Corbin will not be buried whatsoever because he still has a Money in the Bank contract. Whatever. John Cena wins. This rivalry does nothing for me, though. Big Show versus Big Cass. With Enzo Amore put high above the ring in a shark cage. This will be everybody's bathroom break. Everybody's. This is a standard WWE way to build up a big guy. Stick him against the big show. Why on earth do they want to stick Enzo high above the ring in a shark cage? Bewilders me. Baffles me. Like anybody wants to see this. This match, I'll be getting something to eat, something to drink, something. Boredom. Absolutely boring. SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line. Naomi versus Natalia. This is interesting. This is very interesting because Naomi is going to win this contest, but I am glad that Natalia got the number one contenders match here. I'm glad she got it. I'm glad she won. We don't usually see Natalia. Get this kind of stuff, you know. It's usually Charlotte or somebody like that. It's good to see somebody different. But Naomi's going to go over here, and I'm predicting right now that we're going to have a women's money in the bank contract cash in at SummerSlam. Carmella, who is not scheduled to have a match. As far as I know, she's scheduled to be on the pre-show uh, panel. She will cash in the Money in the Bank contract on Naomi at SummerSlam. Jinder Mahal, speaking of championship matches... Jinder Mahal, the modern day Maharaja. Versus Shinsuke Nakamura. This contest, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura beats John Cena. Congratulations. I like it. I like that he beat John Cena and that he's getting this opportunity. Here is what I hope WWE does not do. You know, one of two things is going to happen. Because I can't see, number one, Jinder Mahal walking out the WWE champion at all at SummerSlam. They're not going to have Jinder Mahal 
beat Shinsuke Nakamura. There's not a chance. He does not stand one chance in beating Nakamura at SummerSlam. But, so, Baron Corbin, one, is going to come down and he's going to make it a triple threat match. Or, Nakamura is going to win and then he's going to cash in on him. And then take the title from Nakamura. Which I don't want to happen. I don't want that to happen. Nakamura does not need that championship yet. Nakamura does not need an L on his record in the WWE yet. So, he needs to make it a triple threat match and then score the pinfall on the champion. Jinder Mahal. Now, would that make him a baby face? No. That wouldn't make him a baby face. He's just cashing in his money in the bank contract. But, Shinsuke Nakamura does not need a loss in the WWE from something like that. But in WWE's world, they'll think, well, it's okay. He's losing not clean. So it doesn't matter. Shinsuke Nakamura lost by money in the bank contract. He didn't lose one, two, three by a clean matchup. He already was beaten down. Something like that. I hope that doesn't happen. And finally, the Universal Championship on the line. Brock Lesnar defends the championship against Roman Reigns. Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman. This match, you know, if Brock Lesnar loses, he's leaving the WWE. Brock Lesnar's not leaving the WWE. Brock Lesnar, even if he loses the WWE Universal Championship, he's not leaving completely. We all know that. Person that big, his contract is not up until after WrestleMania. You think Vinny Mac is going to let him loose? That's number one. But number two, this is going to be a match of epic proportion. This match is going to be a knockdown drag out affair. This match is going to be brutal. I mean, absolute awesome. In the end, Brock Lesnar is going to lose this championship. can see it. I can see the writing on the wall. Brock Lesnar, I'm predicting, will lose the Universal Championship at SummerSlam. The time is now. The time is coming. He does not need to hold it for a year. He doesn't. Will he drop at the reins? No. 
I wish he wouldn't just get it over with, but he won't. Braun Strowman's time? No. Samoa Joe, absolutely. Samoa Joe will carry that ball into the fall months when Vinnie Mac and Kevin Dunn and Michael Hayes and Road Dog and the road and all the other writers and producers and all the rest of them decide to go to bed and not try as hard because of the NFL and all the rest of them. Samoa Joe will take that ball and keep people boom entertained with that Universal Championship. That's my prediction. But this match will be a knockdown drag out affair for us wrestling fans in the main event of SummerSlam. The biggest party of the summer. The biggest event of the summer. The hottest ticket of the summer that WWE is proclaiming for us. Y'all let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Show this channel some love for me. Twitter and Facebook at 2007 Webby. Until I see you again, this is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.